the DJI Neo is only getting better with time. It seems to be maturing beautifully. So this is the Neo here, a phenomenal little drone with a bunch of different features and functionality. But with this new update, it looks like we've got some new exciting features coming out. So let's just have a little look through what this new update brings for us. And I just thought this would be helpful for people who are on the fence about the Neo. Some of these features were highly requested. So this is very, very exciting here. So firstly, added support for the DJI Goggles N3. So the Goggles N3 is a cheaper version of the DJI Goggles. So you can see it says um, added live view stabilization when used with DJI Goggles N3 or Goggles 3. So the Goggles 3 is what I've been using, but this new N3 version is a little cheaper. Uh, a lot of people were looking for something like that. So that's really exciting. We've also got added support for vertical shooting. So this is a huge one here because this little drone is perfect for some social media content and having some built-in vertical shooting options is very exciting. You can always do it in post-production um, and you can crop it into a vertical video, but to have it built in as an option now is huge. So you select the corresponding ratio in resolution settings for this mode, and that gives us the vertical shooting options on this little guy here, which is huge. Uh, we've also got in-mobile app control, added support for manual control in full screen and control stick mode switch in control settings. So finally, that was one of my big requests. I really wanted to see uh, the full screen experience when you're using just the mobile app, giving us that full screen experience now in the manual controls was something I was really looking forward to. So I'm glad that they brought that very, very exciting stuff. We've also got added support for audio recording via app when using the RCN3 or RCN2 remote controller, so that's really nice. Um, you've also got the option for uh, some noise reduction effect, so you can, uh, it's supported now to set the noise reduction effect for audio recording to a natural style to preserve ambient sounds. So I found previously actually, when I was checking out this drone, I found that it did a really good job of noise cancelling. It did a great job of cutting out the background sound and the buzzing of the drone and everything like that. Um, but some people don't like that, you know, it's heavily then processed at that point and it can take away some of the natural sounds of the environment that you're in. So now you can change that so you can have it as the original or you can go to that more natural style, which is really cool. Uh, optimized positioning performance and increased flight speed during tracking. So this is another big one. This is something that I've seen a bunch of videos actually online of this one, but that's a big one. So we've now got an increased flight speed during tracking, a really big calling card there, especially if you're into the action sports, if you are uh, you know, into riding your bike or whatever it may be, that increased flight speed during tracking is huge. And then we've also got some fixed, uh, fixed some known issues as well. So 254 megabytes for this update, but this is just on top of all the amazing features that the Neo already has. So Definitely well worth updating if you own the drone. And uh, yeah, if you're on the fence about it, this might be just enough to, to get you over. If you were looking for some of these features, they're now available with the latest update.